And new at 5.30, a good chance you will not hear as many dirty words coming from Miamisburg. Pam Elliott takes you inside a school that is cleaning up its act. Our pledge table is set up. You sign your pledge today, we'll give you a wristband. As of noon today, about half of the students at Miamisburg High School had signed a pledge to work toward using more appropriate language and fewer four-letter words. I think it's important for kids not to cuss around elders, adults, or even at school. It, just wait till you're 18. You know, uh, it's it's just better not to cuss at all because it's, it's really offensive to some people and it's not even right at all. Students were involved in designing t-shirts and getting signatures. For the most part, I think people believe that it's a joke and a lot of people would laugh, but to us it's a serious problem that we need to fix. So no matter the laughing or the jokes that people may make, we're going to try and fix it. Well, we just like try to say it makes school a more positive place for others so if you could just respect their wishes and try not to cuss, like, it would just be a really great thing. Among those who have yet to sign the pledge is Karen Wu, who admits to using the F word, which teens say they hear more than any other here. I want to go like at my own speed. I want to take it like step by step. I don't want to do it with everyone else. I just want to do it the way I want to do it. The school already had discipline in place, from a warning to a suspension for those caught cussing, but decided to bump it up a notch after a community member stepped forward. We want to get other schools doing it. You know, I think it would be neat to say, how many schools in Ohio can we get doing this? And then say to other states, okay, we've got this many schools, we challenge you. So, you know, my goal ultimately would be to go after the NFL and the, you know, NBA. I mean, you're supposed to be role models, act like it. But right now, the focus is on young people and preparing them for wherever they go beyond school. Pam Elliott, 2 News on your side. Okay.